alpha males. They're all over the place. They're on TikTok. They're on YouTube. They're even in your mama's DMs. There is a huge wave of alpha male content out there right now, especially on TikTok. It drives me nuts to actually watch that shit. So in today's video, we are going to get some alpha male advice and improve our testosterone levels. I'm going to make myself a better man. I'm going to buy the Bugatti. I'm going to get the ladies. I'm going to start smoking cigars, okay? And I'm going to stop drinking Red Bull. Let's get into this. So one of the top alpha male teachers or counselors or whatever the fuck you want to call it, I, I know, is Andrew Tate. He's got a TikTok here. Cobra Terrific. Solid name right there. You know, because he's a... He's a, a snag. He's a little, a little snag. He's getting your finances, money, testosterone, alpha, women, cigars, balding. <laughs> I guess it's because he thinks he's a snake and he's like looking for his prey. I, I have no fucking clue. His TikTok is quite embarrassing and is very low on the likes. Let's watch a couple of these. All our graves are the same size. Be humble. That is the most bullshit thing that broke boy say. Don't you love it when these like rich alpha male Instagram like influencers, whatever the hell you want to call them, they always call everybody broke. When the reality of it is, is like, for example, like I'm middle class. I'm neither rich or poor, okay? I have food on my belly. I have clothes on my back. I have a nice computer set up. I bought my car cash only for like $3,500, but still a decent car, 2009 Chevy Impala. Front bumpers being held up by a zip tie, but psh, SI, I got a roof over my head. I don't have a lot of debt. I'm not broke. I'm just not as rich as you. There's a difference. It's basically saying, don't achieve anything with your life. You're going to die anyway. Bru great. No, the saying is saying, is it really important to buy the Lambo, to buy the Bugatti, to buy the mansion, to have hundreds of women surrounded by you, to buy the $3,000 shoes? Because at the end of the day, we are all going to be put into the ground and that shit is going to be worth nothing. Again, this guy's ego is just like, it's, it's literally oozing out of his skin, like sweat, like the sweat on the top of his fucking balding head here. Graves are the same size. You don't need that Lambo. Be humble. Our you don't. Graves are the same size. Do absolutely nothing with my life because one day I'm going to die. Sit around and be like you, a broke boy, because one day I'm going to die. That was the video. There was literally nothing to it. it. He's just spitting out useless garbage as he talks. And this is something you'll see a lot of these alpha males do. They, but they put everything in like this weird like analogy or perspective that isn't really realistic and is ignoring all the other factors that could be possible to the conclusion that they're making. Literally make up their, this all, their own bullshit in their head. It's absolutely insane. But now it's all status. The girls want to be like, I was with Mike Thurston. That's what they want. It's all Instagram and status. So as a man, you have to be doing something to try and improve your status. Yeah, physique is one thing. Money's another thing. There's lots of different ways to do it, right? So you have to understand that as a man, you've got to gear your life in a certain way. Just another, again, useless video that has like no substance to it or anything. But how are you going to say that every woman cares about status when you surround yourself with women who care about status? When you go to L.A., what do you expect? You're not going to see people who make a normal amount of money, who are very humble with the life. Most of the people in LA are going to be stuck up. They live high life lifestyles. They fly private jets. They like Lambos. They like Bugattis. They like fancy cars. They would much rather make their car payment than actually pay rent or they sleep on a mattress on the fucking floor. If you surround yourself with shitty people, you most likely are also a shitty person. That's just the reality of it. I have never once met a woman who ever cared about my car, my social status, my financial status, my life or anything. They just cared if I was a decent person and if I could give them the big O, you know, that's why you got the magic fingers for. The whole world needs me. I'm that guy. I'm a bad guy, but you need me. Oh, I'm a bad guy. And I say no, that thing. no, I, nobody needs you, bro. We don't need you. None of us are needed. We're all replaceable. Some other alpha male jackass is saying the exact same shit as you are, bro. You're nothing special. Okay. What other multimillionaire who owns a Bugatti is going to teach you how to make money? Bugatti. What other multimillionaire that owns a Bugatti and has my kind of connections that can project? <laughs> how are you going to own a Bugatti? And not say it right. Imagine spending like 300K on the car and not being able to say the name of the brand. That's embarrassing. That's almost just as bad as buying a car that like needs a touch up or needs some work on it. But you don't know how to work on cars. So you have to call your friend over all the time to work on the car to flex it at the car meets. <laughs> it's just embarrassing, dude. I don't know shit about cars. I am not a car guy, but at least I can say Bugatti right. I 
always had an intrinsic understanding that the, the only way to truly get rich is to break the system. And How, wait, are you, that's a blue Yeti. How are you going to say you're rich and famous and all this shit, but use a fucking blue Yeti? That's embarrassing, bro. The blue Yeti is a fine microphone. Like, it works. Why are you using it, like, outside in a podcast style? Like, that kind of microphone is made for, like, stuff like this. Like, for a single individual, and it sounds okay. It's a decent price. It's like an $80 microphone. Even my microphone is more expensive. This is a $300 microphone right here, okay? I guess I'm bougie. I guess I'm just rolling in fat stacks. <laughs> hate my life. I get called a sociopath all the time and a psychopath. What is this doo-doo quality, man, of these videos? How? How are you going to say how rich and famous and awesome you are, but you're recording in like 480p, bro? All the time. I get called that, but I don't think people understand that there is a version of the world where you can feel things and really not give a f how you feel. If I feel sad, it does not change how I act and it does not change the things I do. No comment. I'm just going to move on from that. What in the fuck? Are you in reality? Are you sure you didn't take acid or mushrooms before you started recording? Because what kind of reality are you living in where if you're sad, it doesn't affect your day? Haircuts are absolutely not really bullshit. If you're a dude who gives a about your hair, question yourself why. <laughs> this dude can't be serious. Hmm. I, why, why do I care about my haircut so badly? Maybe because I have fucking hair? <laughs> I want it to last, you know, so I don't go bald like you? Just don't care i can guarantee you that i shaved all my hair off Let's go to some yeah yeah i believe that i believe that with all my heart that you shaved all your hair off it's because your hairline's receding and you're going fucking bald dumbass look at that thing it's crawling up halfway up your forehead dude it's up there man i see it i see you probably got the ball patch on the top there don't you buddy he's he's so alpha his hair is terrified of him and it's shrinking back into his skull his testosterone is just too much for his hair to handle so it's just shrinking back into his face and his body you know, it's trying to escape from him. It's just, he's just too strong. You know what's funny? Your shitty video quality, even though you're a self-proclaimed millionaire? That's fucking hilarious. What's funny is, I know exactly what I'm talking about all of the time. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. What wise person who actually knows a lot says that they know a lot, right? Dude, what in the hell? You ever heard the phrase that, like, successful people don't need to show success? Because they don't need to show it off to people because they are successful. They can just literally just live their life and be successful, right? This guy is literally like, I'm smart all the time. I know what I'm talking about. I'm right every single time. Really, dude? You've never been wrong one time in your life. You're just right all the time. Ego much? But the craziest part is, though, about all this is that he talks about how having an ego is bad in some of his videos. Let me pull this video up right here. So I got to mute this because it's got copyright music on it, and I, I'm sick of getting demonetized by YouTube. But it, here, this is the same account. It's the same account. But here, watch this. Young Kings. Ah, young Kings. Slow success builds character. Okay? Fast success breeds ego. His Instagram is no better. It's just flashy, flashy, flashy. I'm rich and famous. Ooh, look at me. Look at me. I'm so cool. Oh my God. Granola bar for some fucking reason. You know, mansions. You know, my dainty little female ankles. <laughs> He talks about ego is bad, yet that's his branding. That's his ego. Now, you might be asking yourself, how is this guy rich? How does this guy make his money? Well, surprise, surprise. If you click on the link in this bio, oh my God, he's got courses? Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. A self-proclaimed alpha male rich influencer has a course? Oh my God, that's crazy. Man, for the low sum of $49, you could enroll today and start making money today. Stock analysis, option plays, crypto analysis, DeFi, e commerce, copywriting, freelancing, flipping, financial planning, affiliate marketing, business management, and more. First of all, what the fuck is options plays? What's options plays? What the fuck? Stock analysis, all this bullshit, affiliate marketing. These are all just buzzwords. These are all buzzwords. This is literally just. Pyramid scheme. The screams pyramid scheme, okay? So this is why he's rich, okay? He's rich off of you, okay? He's rich off of young men who are not feeling fulfilled in life, who feel not right. They don't feel good about their life. They want to better themselves. So they pay this guy to blow smoke up their ass and show them these courses that'll make them money when the reality is that they're just getting scammed. Nobody is succeeding in these sections, okay? I don't know what this guy does. I, I don't know what he does anymore.
Guess what? He does this. This is all he does. He even got the war room. The war room is for bigger bitch cuck boys because they literally call themselves like war room soldiers. Look at this. It's just like, it's just like you sit around at like a round table in these expensive ass chairs smoking and drinking alcohol and eating fancy dinners to boost your ego because you got a small ball sack. Like literally, dude, like guns and you know, all fancy. Oh, look at us. Look at me. I wear shoes that show my ankles. I fucking hate those shoes that show their little dainty little ankle. Uh, uh. I hate those shoes so much. They drive me nuts. They're bleeping all their faces and stuff, you know, because these are high-valued clients and stuff. And these are these are guys who just don't want to admit that they got scammed. How much, how much is this? How much is this, you might ask yourself? Well, let's check it out. Let's join. Join the war room. The low sum, I think this is like what, like probably like two, three K in USD, I think, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty the, the elite package deal is almost like eight fucking grand, dude. That's insane. You can either pay by card or pay with crypto. So you can take your digital assets that you invested money in to make money to invest back into this fucking idiot. That's why this guy has these flashy cars, okay? That's why this guy has these fancy mansions. That's why this guy has his Instagram and he's literally just showing this lifestyle because he wants people to believe that his lifestyle is real and he wants you to buy this fucking course. He can't work for himself, so he lives off of other people's hard-earned cash. I like how this guy makes fun of OnlyFans girls, yet he's literally living off of men who don't have any kind of self-confidence. He's living off of their money, their paychecks. That's how he pays for all this shit. I mean, if you're a really good friend, no, not even if you're a friend, you better, if you're my friend, you just can't be a pussy. Well, I had a heart attack. Get the fuck up. Fuck wrong with you. Go hospital later. Have a drink. Cigarette, cup of coffee. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Because <laughs> cigarettes are a great idea after you just had a heart attack. Just smoke a pack. You'll be fine. He's literally saying that if you get a heart attack around him, you're a pussy. You're a bitch. Who thinks this guy is smart? My grandpa had a heart attack the other day. What a fucking bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grandma had a stroke? What a pussy. She should better herself. <laughs> the fuck? Fucking having heart attacks near me, you little pussy. It's not <laughs> I don't even have to say anything. I can just let these videos play and you guys can just laugh. These alpha male TikToks are cringy, hypocritical distasteful it just all around bad and i love watching them so guys that's it for today if you guys like this video please like comment subscribe to the youtube channel i'd really appreciate that i'll see you guys in the next one bye